Hey, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Today we're going to be looking at the controller you're seeing right here on the screen. This is from Hercules. This is the Universal DJ right here controller from Hercules. Now this has been out for a little bit of, a little bit of time, but I wanted to kind of run through a few things of this because this is kind of a neat little introductory or, or beginning type controller that actually has some functionality and such that even as a, an experienced performer that I would have been some interest in. First off, uh, one of the features, and we're not going to focus on that particular feature in this video, but it has the ability to hook up via Bluetooth to my tablet or my mobile device. And I can actually go, if we take a look up here, we have our ability, we can be on a, the laptop, we can do laptop or tablet or strictly the, the mobile device. And we can do that by the Bluetooth connection that's into this board, which is really kind of a cool feature that isn't, um, isn't in a lot of the more introductory level type or the beginning type controllers out there. It comes with DJ Juice, uh, DJ Juice, DJ Juice, DJ Juice, whatever. That's the Hercules uh, mixing software that uh, if you're looking to find something to get into and get your feet wet, this is a great way to get a very good solid copy of something that's going to allow you to mix. I personally um, use Virtual DJ, so for me, I need something that can work for vir with Virtual DJ, and that's what I wanted to show you today. We're going to do two things. We're going to kind of show you a little bit about how it's all mapped out for Virtual DJ. Uh, we're going to show you how to add a redrum or a drum behind a song and then we're going to show you how to map uh, some people have been asking how do you um, map a button to do a different function than what it is uh, set up as so we're going to go look at uh, those things in this video so first off i've got some music and the music i have is uh well the one song on the right side is a licensed song we're not going to be playing that one but the ones on the left are unlicensed music so we can use it for this demonstration we're going to be um Doing it in the auto mix, we've got it in the auto mix area, and basically that's just so it makes it easier for me um, to do that. And I could do all the fancy things, and yes, it's got the cross fading. We can do everything there. That's not what this video is about, and you'll see what I'm what I'm getting into. So we have our music playing. First off, I wanted to show you up here at the very top here. We've got our cue where we can have this. We can hit that, and we can set cue points for four things. We've got the effects. We can do some effects with it. And then we have the sampler. And I'm going to show you the sampler. Cue points are very, very, you know, you hit it and you can bounce back to, we've got a cue and we set a cue point and we can go back to it all day long if we want to. Or we want to set another cue point. We can go there, we can go there, we can go there. We can bounce between two cue points. We can do that all day long. That's not what I really wanted to look at too much here. We're going to go to the sampler. Now in the sampler, there's a variety of things built into Virtual DJ, and that's really what we're going to be kind of looking at. Uh, we're going to look at the kick and a hard kick, uh, the kick and a snare, and the, the uh, kick and clap. So we've got this song going, and I really don't care to do this song because it's not as effective as the next song will be. So here's the MIDI, um, the magic button we're pushing, and the magic button does the forwarding. So now I've got a song that is in need of a beat, a beat. So we're going to start our beat here. And again, this is in the sample area. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the beginning of the song. I'm going to switch over to loop. And then we're going to... There we go. We're going to set a loop here. I'm going to extend the loop. Unfortunately, the only way I can extend the loop, it seems, is if I do it, uh, do that, because I can go from short loops all the way up to a four-beat loop on with the eight, uh, and I haven't figured out how to get to the next level. I'm sure it's possible some way, shape, or form. So we have a loop going. You can see that at the very top. So I'm going to go back to sampler, and if I drop the just the regular, this is uh, just the kick drum, and what it's doing is it's basically giving us a a kick drum behind our music. The positive side is it's easy to do with this controller. The negative is I don't have a separate um, audio control for the kick drum. So what I would have to do to control the audio is I'd have to come over here onto our virtual DJ and I've got to come down here to the bottom and there you can see the kick drum as it's doing its loop. And you can see I can adjust the volumes there. That's the way you'd have to do it. Some boards have the volume control when it comes to the samples. This one doesn't have that. We can pan through some of those and we're gonna go right back to our kick drum. Okay, so that's kick drum, we'll shut that off. Now, um, for the, some music and such, maybe you want a little bit more of an aggressive kick drum, so we're gonna do, this would be the kick, uh, the kick drum hard, kick hard. 
Now, if I'm playing some music where it's kind of more of a rock country feel and I want to have a beat behind it, I would go to the fourth setting on this particular one, which is the kick, and I believe it's a clap. But you want to start it on beat one, otherwise it doesn't sound right. Three, four, one. Otherwise, your, your, your clap is on one and three instead of two and four. And we got the same thing if we go over to uh, the kick and the snare. And what's kind of cool about it is when the beat grid has been found, as you're seeing up on the top there, it's finding new beats and such properly. Let's get out of that loop. There, we can get out of it. I guess it would be easier to get out of it probably on the screen than it was over there, but hey, you know, it didn't. We didn't pick up anything. So there we go. Now we have our beat. Oops, that was loop. We're gonna shut there. That's without. Now we'll put the hand clap in there, which they've already got a clap in there, so it's already. So it doesn't it doesn't add as much to that particular track in that spot, but that is generally how the samples would go. Let's see, I want to get to the my playlist, and and you can set samples. I've got a variety of different samples on the machine already. So I've got that page of sa of samples, and there's more samples here, and and we continue through. And there's ambient stuff. There's a lot of different things you can you can add to your virtual DJ, and there's a lot of people who've done a much better job than I would. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that. So we've, we've looked at the sampler a little bit. Um, on the universal control, we have the ability to, to, to have the scratch. We can shut the scratch off. And we can use this to basically pitch the uh, slow down, speed up the song a little bit to change the tempo. We've got a basic three band EQ. We've got our gain. We've got our cross uh, fader. We have our little control here for the tempo to adjust the tempo. We've got our sync button, which everybody loves, and our cue and our, our play pause. Outputs on this, it has um, RCA outputs on this. So you have your line in RCA and you have a line out RCA. So it has the audio card to go do what it needs to do. Then in the front, it's got headphones. So if you're running to cue, so this really could be um, a, a kind of a, a backup little controller and it could be used to take it with you when you're like heading to the house and you want to do some work in which I'd like to do go in and I like to go and set some of my cue points and such for songs because I like to have a variety of cue points and songs I'm going to be using depending upon if I'm coming from a song with lyrics or if there's a if I want to hit the lyric or if I want to hit the refrain what have you okay so let's look at this little magic button right here and what it's doing is that is segueing from one side to the other, or if I have the auto mix going, it's going to go from the current track to the next track. But now not every controller has this built in. This particular one did. I didn't have to function or change that at all. But I'm going to show you how to do that if you would like to do that. The way you're going to do is you go up into the little, the little uh, wheel up there, the little settings wheel. And you're going to go down to controllers. Now, once it's it's selected over here on Virtual DJ, whatever your controller is, if it's the Denon or the Newmark or the Hercules, whatever, then you'll scroll down. And these are the different little, on the left here, you're seeing all the different things that that board has for buttons. And right here, here's the magic button. Now, you're seeing it says Mix Now. That's what we would be looking for if we would be coming over here and we would be looking at, okay, Auto Mix, uh, yeah, I want it to go, I can go here or I can go any one of those. There's some of them where they will they will mix, and it gives you a little right here start or stop on auto mix playlist. Okay, that's that sounds great. Or add songs. It'll give you a little explanation, but this is where you would find all those different uh, changes and such, and be able to really put it to doing something else. So maybe I don't want it to do that. Maybe I wanted something with audio control, or I wanted the scratch, or I want to change volumes and such. I can make the buttons pretty much do whatever I want. And there's more in-depth ways where you can combine features under a button and, and do some things with that. But just for those of you who are wanting to do that playlist, that auto playlist for your dinner music or something, and you have some songs that have a long ending for some reason, and you want to be able to be, just hit a button to mix to the next one so you won't have as much dead air, this is a way to do it. You find an unused button. On this particular case, the Hercules button has a magic button. It should be segue button for as far as I'm concerned, but magic is pretty good too. Then you can go... You can set it, and once you're done with it, then it will ask you to apply, to save that, 
when you go to shut down it's ask would you want to save that mapping and I'm going to go no because I don't need to but you can certainly uh, save what you've done that's that's an important part of it otherwise it's gone so mapping buttons isn't too crazy and you can always reset it if you do get crazy and, and mess something up and of course once it's done it becomes an easy way to segue to your next song which again could start that playlist or you know go songs whatever you need to do so just playing with the uh, Hercules Universal Control here, um, it, it's an, a nice little board. It has some functionality and such that will will make it so it, it can be a nice little um, unit to use, like say in a remote location. If you're just starting out and you're needing software and a whole 10 yards, the DJ Juice that comes with it is definitely something you'd want to look at because it can do a lot of the same features and things that we can do with Virtual or Serato but it's included with the universal control. So that's something you definitely want to look at if you're getting started out. If you've been in this for a while and you're using a, a, your favorite software, then you're probably gonna stick with your favorite software and now they've got it mapped out so it can work with your favorite software in most cases. But it's a great little backup board. Again, USB out, so the sound coming out is, it sounds good, it's not as strong as some of the bigger boards, but again, this is not a main board for mobile unless you're just getting started. Then you could hook this into some smaller speakers and you could function. If you're looking for a board for your mobile show where you're going to be using it at teen dances and different things, this is a starter board. This is a backup board. This is a, a practice board in the house kind of a thing. It's not a main board for those of you out there who are doing this. We'll put links in the description below so you can check this out. But we're looking at the Hercules Universal Control here today that can use, you can use tablets, computer, whatever you need to do on that. You can use them, bounce back and forth. It's a neat little board. Check it out. This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. Oh, <laughs>